welcome back to Cosmoholics Anonymous. I am your favorite new mama, Bougie Vintage, and today's video is a little bit of a rant. If you're following me on Twitter, then the other day you saw me tweet about how I ordered some swimwear from a certain website, and I was very disappointed when they showed up, and I tried them on, and I was like, WTF is this? Piss poor quality, trash, garbage, don't want it, don't need it. I couldn't believe it. Like, I, I was really thrown through a loop because I'm like, how is it that this website that I order from would do this to me? Why are the swimsuits trash? <laughs> they look so good on the website. They look so good on the damn models. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with my body? <laughs> so... This was the first time I ever ordered a swimsuit and it didn't have a lining, it didn't have elastic, it was just thrown together cheaply and to my surprise the products are made in the UK. I thought they were made in China, you know? But they are made in the UK, at least so they say. They probably are made in China and they just switched the damn labels. I don't know, I don't care. The point is, they're fucking trash. So, I unfortunately had to take all the swimwear that I purchased and I had to modify them because they just were not going to work on vacation. If I was unable to do this, uh, they would have to run me my friggin' money back. The only reason I didn't go with the refund was because I have a sewing machine at home and... I knew I could fix the problem, but the, the fact of the matter is you should not have to fix something once you purchase it online. Like, you just shouldn't have to do it. So obviously if you read the title then you know the website I'm talking about is Pretty Little Thing. And I've ordered the, sh listen, the bodysuit I'm wearing right now is from Pretty Little Thing. This little yellow number, this is from Pretty Little Thing. I don't hate the Pretty Little Thing website. I don't hate the clothing, but what I will not do is order something and expect to have to fix it. I should have ordered it, it should have come, I should have tried it on, and it should have been fucking perfect, but it was not. So like I said, I ordered four swimsuits. Luckily, when I ordered the swimsuits, they had a promo on the website for 35% off. So I got 35% off of every single item that I had purchased. I think the most of the swimsuits were, uh, like the tops were like 22 and the bottoms were also 22 or something like that and so I ended up getting them for I think $14 each and so my whole thing is if I had ordered these any closer to the date that I was actually leaving to travel and they came um and I was gonna be depending on these swimsuits to go on vacation that would have been so fucking problematic like I would have had to run to the mall with the quickness and go to Nordstrom, Bikini Village, wherever they sell swimsuits, La Senza Girl, wherever they sell swimsuits, I would have had to go to those places and purchase an overpriced ass swimsuit. But at least it would be quality, at least there would be security, and at least I wouldn't have to worry about my nipples popping out on the beach in Cancun for everybody to see, okay? Don't nobody need to see my boobies except for my husband and Miss Salem. <laughs> so, I was really, 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 really upset about these swimsuits arriving and being so trash and so in this video you are going to see us modifying them and showing you what we had to do to kind of up the quality because there's just no telling how these swimsuits are going to even react once you hit the water because obviously the material gets a little heavier and because there's no elastic to hold it up when i jump out the pool in this girl my booty crack might be out my whole punani might be out we don't know what's going to happen when i'm in mexico <laughs> we will see and i will update you guys so, first thing I want to talk about is this little pink number because this is the only one that came as a set. So this one came with the bra and the panty in a parcel together, okay? Everything else I had to purchase separately. So this is the panty. As you can see, it's shaped funny. It's a long, long, long pom-pom. <laughs> and um, there's no elastic in the waistband. It's literally just stretchy fabric. So if you're ordering this, which I would not recommend, you have to order down like two sizes because 
there's no support in it at all. There's no support in the leg and I compared it to all my other swimsuits that I've purchased over the years that I still have and wear and every single one of them have lining, elastic in the, not only in the waistband but in the leg parts and even the swimsuits that my mother and I have made for our website have lining and freaking elastic. So I am so confused as to why these do not have that. You can't have a swimsuit and not have lining and elastic. You just can't do it. So like I said, it's just stretchy fabric. The seams are shit. And if I didn't know quality, if my mother was not a seamstress, if I didn't grow up around my mom being a seamstress, I probably would just accept this, you know, but I kind of wanted to do this video to put this out there that if you order a swimsuit from Pretty Little Thing, you might be very disappointed. And honestly, it's not worth the money. They're selling these at 20 something dollars for the bottom and the top, which you could get that at fucking garage or wherever. Like, you can get that at any store. But at least when you buy it in person, you can see the quality and stuff. You know ahead of time what you're getting. When you're ordering it online, you have no idea that when your swimsuit arrives, it's not going to have security. Like I said, no lining, not even in the crotch area, They, but they do have the sanitation sticker, so I guess um, you can return your items if you are unsatisfied, but my vacation is so soon, I didn't have time to return, so I, like I said, I had to modify. However, if you don't have access to a sewing machine, if you don't have access to modify your swimwear once you order it, you're up shit's creek. Like, legit, I would be so pissed if I wasn't able to fix these. <laughs> I would be so upset. So, we added elastic here in the, in the waist to pull it in a bit on both sides. That's what we did with this one. And honestly, the underwear on all of the swimsuits, they didn't really bother me. It was all about the tops that were bothering me. Um, so we didn't do a lot of modification to the underwear sets, but to the tops, we had to rework them a whole fucking lot. So the pink top that came with this, and I'm gonna insert the photos from the website so you guys can see the difference between what we have now and what that was. So when we took this apart, we were shocked. <laughs> We were like, what in the ghetto hell is going on? So we had to, first of all, we had to cut it up the back. So that's what this seam is here. We had to cut the back and then um, we had to put elastic around both the top and the bottom because when I put it on without elastic, my boob just kept either going above it or below it. And we were like, okay, if I wear this in the pool, a bitch is gonna be exposed. You are exposed. I'm gonna expose you, okay? Super exposed, 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 exposed. <laughs> and so we were like, we can't have any of that. So we had to add elastic to give it security because there was none in it at all. And this is a, there's, there's no string on this to hold it up. So that's why we had to put it in the top and the bottom. Um, because this was just a bandeau. Like, how are you going to sell a bandeau and not have elastic in the top and the bottom? Like, it was so bad, you guys. I just could not even deal. Okay, so I ordered four or five bikinis from Pretty Little Thing. And I can't tell you guys how much I regret it. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I freaking regret it. It's actually the most piss poor quality bathing suits I have ever seen in my life. Okay? There's no lining, there's no elastic for support. If you don't have fake tits, your titties are gonna slide out the. Really, Salem? <laughs> Salem knows that they're so piss poor, she's sitting on them. What are you doing? You want to film? Ah. Hi. Ah. Hi. What? She said hi. 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 What's your... Wait, you have boogers in your nose and water in your eyes? What? Oh my gosh. What are you doing? The only thing that I will say is that I'm glad I had a 35% off code to use when I ordered these because if I had paid full price, I would be even more upset. All of the tops and bottoms except for the pink one 
came separately, so I had to pay separate for the top and separate for the bottom. The pink one came in a package together, and it was the cheapest out of all of them, but let me show you. Like I said, no elastic. It's literally just stretchy fabric, and my tits are falling out of this. I have to basically modify all of the bathing suits because I can't wear them on vacation as is. Like, I would show you guys, but I literally can't show you because my boobs are falling out. I've never seen a swimsuit bottom without mesh lining in the crotch, at least. So, literally from here to here, there should be at least a, a little bit of a panel of some mesh lining. There's nothing. It's just this synthetic-ass material. It's surge on one side, but not surge on the other side. It's just really bad quality. Even the bathing suit I made at my own house has friggin' lining. Like, this is actually ridiculous. And elastic in the waist. Like, there's no elastic. And because there is just stretchy fabric and no elastic literally you should probably buy two sizes down if you don't or if you can't modify if you still want to buy something from this website um, in the bathing suit section but I was shocked because I've purchased clothing from them and I've not been unimpressed with the clothing so when I purchased these bathing suits I really was not expecting to not like them or expecting to have to modify them so this one um, is the same thing it's just put together poorly and I have to add elastic underneath the bust line and as well as at the sides of the waist so that I don't get any falling and I have to take each of them in about two inches so one inch on each side because they're just too big and I have pretty big tits with my boobs I ordered everything in a US 12 which is not my size but because UK sizing is so strange, I just bought it like that because um, I figured that's what I needed. But apparently, no, I need to stick to an 8, which is what I am when I'm not pregnant. I basically bought three of the same top, so all of these tops are the same exact cut and style. And even small details like this, like right here it's not put in the straps are not put in properly made in China stuff is better than this the tags all say made in the UK so I'm actually really really shocked but I'm going to end up sewing today so that's what we're here doing so this next one that I ordered which is seemingly a thong I think it's supposed to be a thong because the back is cut real uh real petite but it's still the back doesn't look like a thong but if you got Cheeks on ya, it's gonna suck it all in, okay? So, with this one, we weren't able to actually cut the sides open and modify it. We just had to add the elastics to the sides of the panty because it was sewn so horribly. The way they cut the material was uneven. So when it came to modifying this one, we ran into quite a bit of trouble and we were very frustrated with it to say the least. And the same goes for the matching top because I ordered three different tops like this for the swimsuits that I wanted to wear. And so I had to take in every single one of them on the sides because like I said with no elastic it was just super stretchy fabric where you should be ordering two sizes down if you want it to fit. However, that's not the only issue. The, the problem is when the size goes up, it's only the width that changes. So you're going to get it wider, but it's not going to be longer. So you're assuming, assuming if the size is going up and the breast size is going up, then there should be a little bit more length you know, to cover the girls. But there's not. The shit's like this tiny. And so I'm like, how could anybody wear this and get away with it? If there's no elastic underneath the bust line to give you that security to hold your boobs up, what is stopping your boobs from falling out and giving everybody a peep show? Like, I just couldn't even tell. This was actually ridiculous. So we had to add elastic to the bottom of these. We had to adjust the straps because the straps were like so long. And also that gave us lift. So like I said, I'm going to insert 
us modifying all of them and this one was cut uneven as well so it was harder to modify I'm not gonna say that I'll never order from pretty little thing again but I'll never order bathing suits from pretty little thing again that's a no effing go the other swimsuits that I ordered are both on the green side of things and I have a green screen behind me so I don't know that they're gonna show up on camera we had to put the elastic in the bottom adjust the straps so they're all pretty much the same and this one with the panties like seriously once again it was cut uneven like it should not be looking there shouldn't be a point at the bottom of this uh where the fabric meets there shouldn't be a point there it should be straight but it was uneven and so the seam on the inside of the panty the seam this thing right here you shouldn't be able to see that it should literally be up it should be hidden but it's it's so crap <laughs> that it's exposed again with this one we just added elastic to the inside of the waist and hopefully once I get in the water it's not gonna be an issue this is probably the first time I've ordered from a website and I've been so disappointed in the quality of clothing I usually order from the same websites over and over and over again so I'm, I was really shocked by this okay guys so we're working on the green pretty little thing bathing suit right now my mom cut off an inch on each side of the panty and she's just going to run a panty these are drawers okay mom <laughs> she's gonna run a stitch right there oh and the neon green thread is is guterman but it only came in the hundred mil oh, sorry the hundred meter size mom please oh, come on I was furious. Maybe tell them about the genie. <laughs> oh my gosh. These people going to be sorry that they're going to sell you such faulty product on you, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. I make your mom have to work so hard to fix that. For some security, we're adding elastic to the waist of the panty, but just on the two sides. Here's a, an idea of how shitty the the uh, craftsman work is, because you should not be seeing this little nub right here. That should not be there. It should be a clean finish. It should be, yeah, a very clean finish. And it's not. Same goes with this side. You're seeing the inside stitching or the surging of the panties when you shouldn't be. And you have to pull it while you're uh, Hold the elastic. Uh, while you're sewing, so that it'll bounce. It pulls the excess fabric. Yeah. yeah. And then you just See? yeah, then you just repeat that on the other side. All right, so for the green top, you want to take in it. Well, I'm saying this like it's a tutorial. I'm just showing you guys what we ha the struggle <laughs> that is pretty little thing. So an inch on each side, we're gonna cut off and stitch and, and surge. And stitch it, yeah. Yeah, and then we're gonna add an elastic to the front here, and we're also going to shorten the straps. That's a making a whole new bathing, bathing suit. suit. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Listen, had I known that I was going to be doing all kind of modifications, I would have just went to VV. <laughs> Here's a problem we're going to probably run into. Hmm? You see how? Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. Oh boy. No, no. Don't make Pterodactyl wake up. So here, straight stitch through. So we're back over at the serger. We're going to finish the raw edges on the inside. So I'm going to do a running stitch. 
straight stitch to hold, hold the it. elastic here. So the stitch is just to hold it. Hold the elastic. So, yeah. <coughs> it's easier than pinning. And in this one, you're going to do, because the elastic is so wide, right we're here. doing a double zigzag on it. So center your elastic. You want to find the center point of the elastic, which I should have done before. So the center point of your elastic should meet the center point of the shirt. She's marked both. <coughs> so again, make sure you're pulling the elastic. What is this particular whatever? Wait and tell them no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come talk about oh no. <laughs> I did. That's why we're standing here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bree say, "Them young fair woman who had titty with tan up her no. Yes. <laughs> My boobs are. Uh, oh. My boobs need a little bit more support, support than what's going on here in this store here. Okay, so this is how the top is fitting me. But we're noticing that this is not it's the not same way yeah. that the other one fit me. Should I put the other one and see? Sure. Maybe we're wrong. No, and we're still we're still going to be adjusting the straps because they're too long. Like if I do anything, my boobs are gonna flop out <laughs> so, so yeah come yeah so see the difference right away once you take it in here yeah and then and then also adjust um, the strap, adjust the strap. Yeah. then you have the room that you need exactly I don't know this feels way but it feels like a sports bra yeah. okay so this is the one that we already modified yeah I don't know you your I'm elastic measurements wrong same. no it's 11 do it at 10 Unless these were not the same size, size? to begin with. Well, what does the and tag the say? Come read stretched. the tag. No, and also to the stretch on the fabrics are different. The pretty little thing is just inconsistent. We don't know what's going on. Know. But this bikini top looks way better than the other one. And now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like without any adjustment. So this is it without... <laughs> I got to put my hands here because I don't know if my areolas are out or not. <laughs> this is it without any elastic and no strap adjustments. Look how big the straps are. Like I could never get this wet and wear it in a pool. It's ridiculous. Like, unless your tits are rock solid standing up and, um, or you're super flat chested, you couldn't wear this because this is There's cut no like it's just a nipple shield. Okay, so for the straps now, that's all depending on your shoulders and how, <coughs> excuse me, how tall you are. We put it on me, we cut the strap off at the, where it was attached back here. Yeah. And we pulled it to... Tight enough to get the tension you yes. need. For the lift in yeah. the front as well as the support in the shoulder. shoulder. So all I'm gonna do is run a a I marked it and then all I'm gonna do now is just run a zigzag to hold it in place. This part is the simplest. So what happened, Mom? Oh, <laughs> really, Brie? <laughs> She's been cussing me so mad. Look at look at the width of this here. Measure it. Show us. And look at the no. This is this. If you look at the square, one and a an quarter of an inch. This is like one and a half mm -hmm, inch mm -hmm, bigger. Mm -hmm. Like almost two squares bigger. Like this is ridiculous. Even the way it's connected, like, it's this is something you make sure that all of the, uh... And it's easy to do, because it's, it's squares. It's squares, yeah. Even the way it's folded here at the it's, seam. Never mind, Essa. Look by Essa. <laughs> look. What, what are we like, looking at? The inside is just rolling over. Oh, yeah. It's, it's no. like, they... Look at it. Can and, you see it? Mm-hmm, I can see it. <sighs> I don't know. And what thong is shaped like this? Like, how is this going to go in my bum? Like, 
it, not narrow enough. That's a wide old body crease. So it, it will cover your essential, but this is this is ridiculous. Yeah. I'm so mad. Let me finish it off, yeah. So this one we can't actually because cut. we can't cut it. The back side is cut thinner than the front side, widthwise. Yeah. We can't cut it and sew it back together and serge it and add the elastic because it won't be even. Okay guys, so when we took apart the pink one, <laughs> this is what we got. We cut the the seam up the back, so this is the where the back end would the, meet. Yeah. And this nub is what was holding it together in the middle and it's literally attached to the fabric. And so we're trying to now decide so, how the hell we modify it. So now all you, all they really did was a one piece of thing that they, a uh, fabric that they folded like that, put a seam in it, attach this into the seam, use this, flip this in here. Oops. If it doesn't. To give you that, to give you that. That's all they did. Yeah. One piece of fabric. To modify it, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have my own idea, but I don't know. So she had turned it inside out, and she was going to put the elastic on the inside. But I'm telling her to just attach it how we were attaching the other ones. And it could just be on my skin. <coughs> this, yeah. we'd get rid of this somehow. Put the elastic through the to top and the bottom of it just like this mm -hmm. and make our own and fling it back on no, it. No, me not do that. Why? Because. <laughs> Is this woman for real? Okay, we'll just cut this one off then and we use that one. That's basically it. That's my PSA. I'm going to show you guys how we fix them on the sewing machine and uh, hopefully you didn't recently order your swimsuits from Pretty Little Thing and you're waiting for your parcel because girl you're gonna be disappointed. <laughs> the material is so freaking cheap. Like, cheap! Cheap! Okay? My freaking DIY swimsuit is 30,000% better quality than these. Okay? Like, seriously. Super trash. And had I known I was gonna have to do all this modification, I would have never even have purchased it because it was such a waste of money because not only did I have to modify them, but modifying them obviously cost me more money. So yeah, I ordered the swimsuits online, I paid for my shipping, I paid for the swimsuits themselves, but now because they didn't fit, I had to go to the fabric store and I had to get elastic, I had to get matching thread for every swimsuit that I ordered. I had to get neon pink, neon green, I had to get black, uh, neon yellow. So it's like, <sighs> it was just a headache and a half and you shouldn't have to do that and that's my whole point. So Pretty Little Thing Swim, Pretty Little Swim, you canceled for life, never seeing my coin ever again, and yeah. So that's pretty much it for this little, little rant. <laughs> I love you all and I'll definitely see you in the next one.